Hi guys, so this is going to be the look that I'm going to be um, doing for you guys today. It's just kind of like a goldish aqua color and I was messing with this eye so my eyelash is almost about to fly off. But uh, yeah, so I already have this eye done and I have to do this one so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, and I'm so sorry about all of the... Um, like the lighting is not very well i have better lighting on this side but i just don't have it set up that way just yet um and so i'm just gonna start off with this cover girl um olay it's just like an eye corrector but i use it as a base um just cover my whole eye with this um brushes and i'm going to take a light brown um so I'm going to be using this. This is actually for your eyebrows, but I use them as eyeshadows because I use an eye pencil. So I'm going to take this light brown here and I'm just going to apply this in my crease kind of as a transition color. I'm just going to take a angled fluffy brush and just kind of um, blend that out. And then I'm going to take um, this darker color here. So this one here, sorry I'm trying to stay in focus, okay, so I'm just going to put it right in there, okay, and once again I'm just going in with that fluffy brush, just going to, wow this mirror is really dirty, okay, just going to go in and blend that out, and I know Rosie in her, um, in her videos she always uses tape around right here to kind of just make it really precise and i cannot use tape to save my life i honestly can't um i mean it's supposed to be easier i think but i just i can't um my looks always turn out weird and when i do the eyeliner while i still have a tape it always um like leaks through for some reason so um it's just not for me all right, all right so now i'm just gonna go in with that gold color um for the lid just Anywhere where we didn't add any color already, um, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Inflallable. Um, this one is in Gold Imperial and it's just a gorgeous gold um, pressed pigment. It's really, really nice. It's, so I'm just going to take a flat brush like this. And this is very, very pigmented. So what I do is I always just... Um, take a little bit of the product and just kind of pat it in here and then I pat it on my eyelid and um, you may have some fallout which is fine um, I always just go back in once I'm done and um, clean it up with some concealer so we don't want to take this out too far, just kind of on the lid there, but we can always just go back in with that small blending brush and just kind of go around the edge. So now for my favorite part, we are going to be taking the, um, so this is a really old cargo palette that I got probably like about five years ago and it's really beat up already. I don't even have a lid for it anymore. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's got really, really gorgeous colors in here and I'm gonna be using this one here. And I'm going to be picking up this color here and just really focusing it Okay, there we go. So just really focusing it down here. Okay. It did just take a tiny bit of this color right here. It's just kind of like a yellow um, green color and I'm just going to place that in this inner corner here. Just kind of blend it in with that aqua color so we do this and then I did take um, the darkest just a tiny tiny bit and just add a tiny bit here in the corner just to give it a little 
extra color so it's like you know three colors but mainly focusing on that aqua color so I just went over on top of it again and then I just took a um, smudger brush and just kind of you know smeared it all together uh, let's see this is the L'Oreal Paris um, I can't even see it Sorry, I'm like way out of frame. So just kind of about that length. Um, sometimes I wing it out a little bit more. Just kind of depends. And just kind of start filling that in. use um, both hands to do this also um, so like I hold my eye angle like this but it's really hard because I have this tiny little mirror here okay so we're just gonna leave it like that and I'm just going to be using these here um, they're just some pretty exaggerated lashes by um, elf I think they're called actually I'm not quite sure I hate their um, their glue that comes with the lashes it really it's really really bad um, I have this Andrea glue that I've had for a while which I actually took from my mom um, because she doesn't even do her lashes and it's so good and I wish I could find some more um, it's a really good eyelash glue like, just have to wait until they get a little tacky so we can place them on their eyeballs don't drop them like I did As close to the um, your real ones as you can over here because this is a part that can be a little tricky sometimes. You might cry a little. It's okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in here up in my waterline uh, with this Kat Von D pencil. I love this stuff. It works really, really great. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I just go in a little bit. Just on the root. I don't really like to focus on the ends of the lashes but more on the root of the lashes I just I don't really like them to look too clumpy up at the end okay so there's this eye and then there's this one okay and I'm just gonna just to kind of bring the look a little bit more together I'm gonna um yeah these lashes are not do it for me this time. Usually I like these. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with some mascara on my bottom lashes. What am I talking about? Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with this lip color. So I'm just gonna go in with Revlon's Prim Rose number. 668 I love this color it's a really really pretty spring color I'm not using any lip liner just cuz don't feel like it making sure to wipe that off your lip ring mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to top it really quick with this um, NYX uh, Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. I love this. So I'm just going to top it really, really quickly. And normally I would probably have my hair down. Um, 
So yeah, this is a really nice lip combo. I need chapstick. Okay. So there's one eye with my crusty lash falling off. There's the other one. Okay. Alrighty, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, just give me your thoughts. Um, any suggestions? I'm not all that great at editing videos. I'm sure you can tell I'm still kind of a noob. And um, yeah, just go ahead and give me any, any um, opinions, any you know suggestions on future videos or anything like that. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.